contestant is the CEO and founder of Hypercraft. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Jacob Toffler. Jacob? Can you talk about what the market is right now, where you see the total market in five or 10 years? It's so new and there's so many different areas that you can put electric vehicle technology. I mean, we're here at SEMA and we're surrounded by these incredible builds. And we've had the privilege of getting involved with some of those, like Dave Kindig and his 53 Corvette. Hey everybody, it's Dave Kindig from Kindig Design out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And we are one year from the time that I met all of my friends over Hypercraft. We have uh, developed our own car. It's a turnkey, what we call the CF1. And this right here behind me is the very first ECF1. Happens to be my car. I'm a big fan of torque. And this is going to be very torquey. This is actually a very big learning experience, not only for myself, but for my entire crew. And to be be able to work with a team of professionals that really know how to put the power to the ground and have the reliability is uh, priceless to us. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Hill. I represent Hypercraft and I'm going to walk you through a special project that we did with BC Customs. The ask was to make it electric as well as diesel. So back over here, we'll show you in this area behind the black flap, we put a, a little electric motor that has actually more torque than the, the diesel that's in the back. In this box, we've got the charger and the inverter, and you can see the, the plug there to plug it in and charge it. And then on this other side, in this other box, we've got the battery, which was developed by Hypercraft, built in-house. It's a technology that allows for quick discharge as well as quick recharge. You can see the diesel motor back here. So we've got a 2.8 liter Cummins in this. The rest of the, the vehicle is completely stock and, and undisturbed. Julian Achievity, the Motorsport Agency. What's incredibly unique from a collaborative standpoint between Hypercraft and Scalar Performance on this all new SCR1 race car is everything is completely bespoke and customized. This is an industry first. Everything they're engineering and developing is made for motorsport and they're bringing to the market things we've never seen before. We've seen an 800 volt battery pack but we haven't seen an engineer from a touring car perspective. We're talking 328 horsepower, 345 pound-feet of torque from a vehicle that is only 3,000 pounds and all electric. So this is the first. This is going to be an amazing collaboration. And again, it's all built and engineered for motorsport. The battery pack is, of course, the most impressive piece in this car. The battery pack starts here in the engine bay and it actually goes through the entire car, through the transmission tunnel, and into the back seats and where the gas tank would have lived. So it's a single motor rear wheel drive configuration uh, through a bespoke gearbox It's done actually with a, a partner company, E-Tractive. And then the power makes it to the, the wheels via 5.19 gear reduction. But the gears are directly driven off the motor and the gears are hardened, straight cut, uh, and so if anybody is familiar with like the standard racing transmission sequential dog box, you're going to hear a scream very similar to that out of those straight cut gears. So when it comes to the battery pack, it's an 800 volt system. Safety was paramount for this car because the biggest concern with electric vehicles on racetracks is safety. So in order to run this car wheel to wheel with not only other EV cars, but with other ICE cars, we wanted to make sure that we had fire suppression system that's plumbed through the battery pack, which is an industry first. We made sure that each one of the cells is wrapped in a fire suppressant foam so that if one of the cells does run away, it won't catch the whole pack on fire and thermal propagate throughout the pack. Safety for this was paramount and Hypercraft was really, really key in developing all these safe factors to make this a safe car to run on the track. <laughs> 